The best way to learn something is by actually doing it. Today, I will show you a Tableau exercise that you'll actually be able to follow along with. We will start by pulling down some sample data that we can work with. The link to this data source is provided in the video description. If we click on sample data here and scroll down, you'll see that there are a lot of various things you can choose from. The data set we'll use today is the global burden of disease, which provides estimates of the burden of disease, injuries, and risk factors globally and for 21 regions for 1990 and 2010 via the Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluations. So basically we click here and it begins to download as a CSV file. Now that we have downloaded the data, we can port it into Tableau using the text file because we downloaded that as a CSV. And we'll choose this file right here for my downloads folder. Now what you see happens here is Tableau reads the CSV file and ports it in in the way that it thinks it should go into Tableau. And here we have our data set. One thing we can quickly do is scan the data to make sure that it's accurate. So for example, country name has a little globe next to it, which makes sense because it's a locational dimension. Gender, sex, okay. The year has a pound sign next to it, which means it's a measure. So one thing I would recommend we do right away here is change the data type to date. You could see it went from that little pound sign that is signified a measure into a little calendar sign. So now we know that it is a date field. Okay, now we can start analyzing and designing. So the three questions that we're going to try to answer today using Tableau worksheets plus ending it with a big nice dashboard are number one, are the number of deaths trending up or down? Number two, which age group had the highest number of deaths in the year 2000? And number three, which country had under 100,000 deaths in year 2010? At this point that you have the data loaded into Tableau, I would challenge you and say, try to recreate this view right here before watching the remainder of the video to see if you can create this yourself kind of give yourself a little test and if you get stuck please feel free to watch the rest of the video good luck so let's go ahead and open a new sheet we'll call this one dot number of deaths trend just so we know what we're looking at now what do we need we need to see a trend over time so we'll definitely need to have the year on columns we'll need the number of deaths on the rows. And now in order to get a trend, what we need to do is switch from the data tab to the analytics tab. And we're gonna go ahead and drag out this trend line. And we want a linear trend line. And we can actually clearly see that it is trending up. Let's go to the second question. Which age group had the highest number of deaths in the year 2000? Okay. So number two, that's in 2000. So the first thing we need to do is we need to filter on the year because we, if we only care about the year 2000, we'll need to select 2000 and say, okay. So now Tableau knows that whatever we, whatever dimension or measure we bring out, we only want to see data for the year 2000. We'll need to put age group on rows and we'll get the number of deaths. And now we can actually put this on columns to create a bar chart. One thing I'll notice, it does have an age group of all ages and I would recommend that we filter that out. We can <clears throat> quickly do that by right clicking and say exclude. And now in order to see the age group with the highest number of deaths, we just sort age group descending by number of deaths, just like this. Now, the third question was, which country had under 100,000 deaths in the year 2010? Okay, so let's call this under 100K in 2010. Again, well, the first thing we'll need to do is filter on the years. Let's filter on including only 2010. We will get the country name 
if I double click that you'll see it automatically populates the latitude longitude and gives the the country name on on detail now what we'll need is a calculated field that provides us if there's less than or more, you know a hundred less than or more than a hundred thousand deaths basically so what we're going to do is we're going to create a calculated field and going to call it under 100k deaths and what we want to do is we're going to get the sum of number of deaths smaller than or equal to 100,000. Just note that you shouldn't use a comma here like this because that will mess up the data and you won't be able to do your analysis. So we want to say give us the number of deaths if it's less than 100,000 then tell us yes else tell us no end we always end our formulas with an end so now we want to see what is the problem what did we forget this is actually a good lesson so when you see the calculation contains errors it usually tells you that you're missing an operator in this case we were actually writing an if statement and I mistakenly forgot to write the word if. So now if the sum sum of number of deaths, there we go, is equal to or equal then less than or equal to 100,000, then yes, else, no, end. Okay, great. So now we're going to take our new formula and we're going to drop that on color. So what that immediately does is it it tells it highlights what countries had less than 100,000 deaths, which is great. But what if we want to see the names? Basically, we need to drag country name onto label and it populates all of the country names. That's not exactly what we want. So we need to now take this under 100K deaths and place it on the filters and just say yes. That will actually remove all of the other countries and just leave us with a yes, in which case we can color to, to you know, maybe make it green because if it's less, you know, less than 100K, that's it's probably a good thing. So we see Mongolia, Botswana, Iceland. All right, so those are our three questions. The next step will be to create a dashboard. So the first thing we'll do is we'll click this button here that says new dashboard and we will name this dashboard global burden of disease. The next thing would be to size the, the, the dashboard. So I usually do about 12, 1300, yeah, to by, by 800. And now we can show the dashboard title and we could go ahead and drag in our worksheets. So let's put that one here and let's, let's put the map towards the bottom here like that. There we go. All right, so now a couple more things we can do. So there's an unknown, we can, we can filter that data. We could have also uh, edited that location. So let's, let's drag down the title a bit, give it a bit more space. And you'll notice that we do have some scroll bars. So we'll have to make a decision on what we do here. Do we leave the scroll bars or do we just select the top? We can select the top five or six. Well, let's do, let's do five top five age groups and we can fit this to entire view and this one fits okay and then this one looks okay as well so additional formatting that we can do is we can instead of writing number one number of death trends we can ask a question here so we can say are the number of deaths trending up or down and this way, and we can actually make this a bit smaller. I'd like to use number number 12 and I like to bold it. Okay, so number of death trending up or down. This way when people see the question, they'll right away know, oh, okay, you know, that's, that's what I'm looking at, trends of death. Number two, if you remember, we were looking for age group that had the most number of deaths in the year 2000. So we can ask that question, which 
age group had the most number of deaths in year 2000. Again, I like to bold it, make it size 12. And in order to make things, actually, yeah, we'll sh we should be okay. And then lastly, number three, the question was, which countries have had under 100K deaths in year 2010? Okay. So now we've asked questions and now when people see the question, they'll know exactly what they're looking at. Another way that we can modify this dashboard is we do have a little color legend here under 100k deaths green yes so what can we do here we could say which countries had under 100k deaths and we could say under 100k we can make this click on more color pick a screen color and we could select this green here like that and we can even underline it so people know to look for that what this means is we can actually remove this color legend because under 100K is already green and it matches the green in our dashboard. So we can actually save some space in that sense. So now before finalizing this dashboard, I would typically hide all of the sheets or delete the sheets that are not used just to get that out of the way. And also I like to review colors. So we're using green here and it looks like we have blue here, which was the default color. What we can do is we can make this blue into a dark black. So it make the line stand out. And here with these bars, what we can do is color them perhaps a gray and then put a little border, border around them so they can stick out a bit more like that. It looks a little cleaner. And now you can go ahead and, and save this global burden of disease. One thing I'd note is when you save, typically I like to save as a .twbx file because then it becomes a packaged workbook and you won't lose your underlying data. Go ahead and click save. 